Watch your heart of Christ off your credit report once you follow these simple steps. Now, I know some of y'all probably went to a car dealership looking for a car, and guess what? Five minutes later, hey, you don't got a notification saying this person check your credit report, that person check your credit report, and this person check your credit report, right? Or you might have unauthorized heart of on your credit report, or maybe you just have hard inquiry that should have been already deleted because it's been two years. Don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna walk you through a five step process. It's gonna be able to help you remove all those hard inquiry in the next 15 days. Step number one first things first, here's what you wanna do you wanna call Experian, call TransUnion, call Equifax, right? They got some information on that credit report that's gonna allow you to leverage the law to be able to knock them hard inquiries off. And if you don't have the phone number, I got you. The link is gonna be in the description for the phone number. Step number two, here's what's gonna happen next, right? So here's what you wanna do next. Now, we call the experience, we call TransUnion, we call Equifax, right? We order our reports. Now, it shouldn't take that long for us to receive our report. One day we might get one from Experian, the next day we might get one from TransUnion, and another few days we might get one from Equifax. However, that's cool, right? But what we wanna do now is just analyze it, and what we wanna do now is go to the section that says hard inquiries, right? You're gonna see soft inquiries as well, but we wanna pay attention to the hard inquiries, right? Now you're gonna see a list of all your hard inquiries on your credit report, and that's cool. Now, what we wanna do is look under the name of the hard inquiry, let's just say Navy Federal. We wanna see Navy Federal, and there's gonna be some information under Navy Federal. Some is gonna say permissible purpose, and some of them ain't gonna have permissible purpose. Now, the ones that have permissible purpose, we ain't messing with them. But the ones that don't have permissible purpose, hey, it's gonna be a layup to knock them out. So what I'm basically gonna do is gonna walk you through the process on how to remove the ones that don't have permissible purpose on your credit report. Step number three, hey, grab your credit Bible, and hey, it's time to get into the word. Right, we're gonna understand what permissible purpose is, right? So what we want to do is go to 15 USC 1681 B, right? Or if you have your credit Bible, go to section 604. We're about to get into the word. So let's get it. Permissible purpose of consumer report, right? In general, subject to subsection C. Any consumer reporting agency may furnish a consumer report under follow in a response to the order of a court having jurisdiction. I ain't gonna read everything. Or number two, in accordance with written instruction of the consumer report to whom it relates. Number three, to a person which it has reason to believe intends to use information in connection with a credit transaction involving the consumer on whom the information is to be furnished and, are, and involving the extinction of credit. Number B, right? Intends to use this information for employment purposes or intends to use this information in connection with underwriting of insurance involving the consumer or intends to use this information in connection with the termination of a consumer's eligibility for license and other benefits granted by a government. I ain't gonna read all of them. You go ahead, go ahead and read the whole law, but I just wanted to show you what permissible purpose, right? Step number four, hey, it's time to get busy. So here's what we wanna do, right? We're gonna drop up a letter, right? Now here's what you wanna do, here's what you wanna state on this letter, right? Hey, I just got my credit report on X, Y, day, and I just noticed that there are some unauthorized hard inquiries on my credit report that don't have no purpose, right? So according to 15 USC 1681, B, permissible purpose. A, some of these accounts don't have no purpose to be on my credit report. And it lists all the hard inquiries that's on there. And I'm gonna show you how to type it up and everything, right? Now what you wanna do now is pull out that report, highlight the ones that don't have permissible purpose, right? Take a picture of it, upload it to your email, and what we're gonna do now, we're gonna leverage our best friends, right? The CFPB, and I'm gonna show you how to write up that complaint. So, let's get into it. So here's what we wanna do, right? I'm gonna make this as seamless as possible. So we're gonna use our best friends, which is the CFPB, and we're gonna click on credit report, right? Now once we click on credit report, we're gonna click on credit report again and click on next. Now, here's what we wanna do now. We wanna click on improper use of your report. Right, what best describes this problem? And we want to click on reporting company, use your report improperly. Right, so we're gonna click on this. Right, as you try to fix this problem, yes, and click on next. And what's gonna populate now is a way for you to submit a complaint. So I'm gonna have this written up for you, but here's what we want to leverage. Right, so here's how we're gonna write our complaint. Right, really simple. I received my credit report on whatever day. May 1st, 2023, or whatever day you received your credit report. And notice there were hard inquiries that don't have permissible purpose to be on there. These hard inquiries are hurting me from getting approved. I already reached out to the credit bureaus about the, this multiple times and they keep violating my rights under 15 USC 1681B, right? I also attached the hard inquiries that don't have no purpose to be on my credit report. That simple. And then after we do that, what we want to do now is go, um, the fair resolution, delete the hard inquiries, right? 
and I just you know, made abbreviations, hard inquiries. And then what we want to do is upload the letter and also upload a picture of the credit report, right? So select file, upload everything. And once you click on next, all you have to do is technically put in whoever uh, violated your rights, right? So if it's TransUnion, put TransUnion right here. And it should pop up. TransUnion, I used to like to use this one and put your last four, name as appears on your credit report, date of birth, right? And if you only have, let's say, you only have your TransUnion credit report, right? You just only do TransUnion, right? Um, if you have another company, you'll go ahead and click on Equifax or Experian. You'll put in Equifax or Experian right here. You'll type in the company's name. Let's just say for Equifax. And then we'll look up Equifax Information Services and we'll click on that one. And then yes, you try to fix this problem. You put last four, name is up here and date of birth. And then the last one you will put is of course Experian if you have all three. If you only have one, put one. Um, complain with one company. If you have two companies you get a complaint with, um, go ahead and put this. Or if you have all three, go ahead and put all three credit credit bureaus, right? And then all you have to do is click next. And what's gonna populate now is your information. And then all you gotta do is click submit and just wait. Hold up, quick question. Why you waiting these 15 days? I, got a, I just got a quick question. Would you like to learn how to make some extra passive income? I already know the answer is yes. And Alexa, should I tell them about it? Do, Dave. All right, Alexa, sheesh. So, have you heard about Pawns app? So, let me break down how this app works, right? So there's two opportunities for you to make money. There's an active way for you to make money and there's a passive way for you to make money. But let's talk about the active way first. Now, when it comes to the active way, I have a quick question for you. Would you like to get paid based off of your opinion? I already know the answer is yes. So yes, you can get paid based off of your opinion. And the app, it allows you to take surveys. And based off of these surveys, you're giving feedback to companies, right? So based off of your feedback, you're creating a way for them to understand the market out there. You're creating a way for them to understand more of how to create a product. You're also also helping them with customer satisfaction, right? So based off of the opinions, based off of the information, based off of these surveys, you're saving them time, you're saving them money, but you're also helping them create a good product out there to help other people. So based off your opinions, you're gonna get paid. Now let's talk about this active income, right? I mean, this passive income. Now, let's talk about how you can make money passively, right? I already know you want to have money coming in without you having to do nothing. Trust me, I understand. Have money coming in like clockwork that's going to be paying you over and over and over again. So let's talk about this way. So when it comes to making money passively in this app, you're basically going to be sharing your internet with this app, right? You're going to be sharing your internet with business owner, right? So basically, let me explain it to you. You're going to be leveraging unused bandwidth. You can sell unused bandwidth to other businesses and help them get an unfair advantage right now i know you probably thinking what about my data what about my privacy trust me you have credit monitor to take care of that you have ability to freeze information but you don't got to worry about that because we have credit monitor and plus they have encryptions and all that to take care of that so you don't have to worry about your personal information because i already know my people think about their personal information if somebody's gonna steal it don't worry about that you're gonna be able to sell some um you're, you're gonna be able to sell some of your bandwidth to these businesses because some businesses don't have access like they don't have access they have geographical restrictions right so you're helping them and you're selling some of your bandwidth now based off of your IP address is based off how much money you can get, right? So if you want to do one, you can do two, you can do three, up to 10, right? Based off how much access you give them is based off of how much money you can make, right? You can go on the app and check it out yourself. So if you want more information, the link's gonna be in the description. Hold up, quick question. Before you go, do you have a collection? Charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan, child support, late payments on your credit report? Hey, I wanna show you this new strategy that's gonna be helping you wipe all the things off in the next 15. All you gotta do is just watch this video right here. Pay attention, watch that video right there.